Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am giving you a review of the Good and the Beautiful's Simply Good and Beautiful Math 1. So stick around. This is the Math 1, like I said in the introduction. Um, we have finally finished it. We actually finished it yesterday, the day you know, before the recording of this video. Uh, and I just want to share a little bit of review, a little bit of kind of my thoughts, all of that kind of stuff. As I do with all of my other reviews, I asked my daughter her thoughts first. So I'm going to share those with you. I do want to share kind of what her thoughts are because I feel like that's important. What, what do our kids uh, think of the curriculum really that should guide our thoughts and feelings so uh, we can have our own thoughts and opinions obviously of the curriculum but we got to do what works for the kids so here are the things that she said in regards to math one so I asked her the things that she liked she said it was easy I I am glad that she feels that the information was presented to her in a way that she could consume it and understand it. Um, I There were definitely uh, things that challenged her and there was a lot of learning that happened throughout the curriculum. Um, but I do appreciate that she didn't get the feeling of overwhelm. You know what I mean? To her, like I said, it was easily consumable. It... it processed very easily in her brain and you know she she was able to move on um so I like that uh she also said that it was fun and then I asked her specifically what was fun about it and she said the games that were included so um if for some reason you don't know uh it does come with this math box and so inside it's got all these little these little things uh you know that you use throughout the curriculum some of those being games you know it's like a little quit or a maze or uh, just different different little fun things so um she liked those she said uh she she said i didn't know that you could add three numbers together and i so i asked her was that you know, something that she liked, that she was able to learn that you could add three numbers together. And she said, yes. So she really liked that. And then um, she, of course, to go with the games, she said she liked having the math box and then specifically the whiteboard that comes on the back of the, um, the box. As you can tell, ours has been very well loved, um, but it still works. It's in good condition. Uh, and then that, so that was what she said she really liked. And like I said, she said there wasn't anything that she didn't like about it. She mentioned um, that the review sections were, they could be a little difficult, but not that she didn't like them. Um, just sometimes it was a little difficult. So I don't think that's really a bad thing, right? Hard doesn't always mean bad. So um, those were her thoughts. Moving on to my thoughts. And this is really just going to be kind of like a, a chatty, obviously, this is going to be like a chatty review. I don't have, you know, bullet points. First of all, I, I don't know how many of you were around, but I did a video, um, when I was considering changing math. Um, brief little synopsis. We originally were doing master books math that worked okay for a little while and then it was terrible, like totally not working for us. However, um, I didn't know where to go for math because there are a lot of options out there. I already had a feeling that I wasn't really going to like the good and the beautiful because of the language arts program. Then I was seeing other people saying things about the good and the beautiful kind of, you know, you, you get 50, 50, you get some people that it's the best thing ever. And then you get other people that are like, I'll never use this ever again. So it was kind of hard for me to navigate through that. 
Um, but yeah, I finally came to the realization, not everybody's convictions are my convictions. And if this is a curriculum that I have looked into and I have really kind of narrowed down to, I really think this is what we are looking for, then I need to try it. Because if it's the math program that's going to work for my kid, that's what I need to use. And so I bought it. And here we are. And I am, am very, very glad that I did that because it really was a great experience. Um, I, I have, I, I like it. I like it. Uh, I think it has done what I needed it to do. Um, obviously it worked really well for my daughter. It had just enough of the hands-on fun things, um, that kept her engaged and kept her entertained. Uh, like I'd mentioned, she felt like it was easy. And so, you know, it presented the information in a way that was um, very easily retained for her. Um, and, and it was consumable, you know, we were able to, to read through it. She was able to really kind of grasp the concept and then, um, work a few problems out. And then, you know, a day or two later, we'd kind of have a little bit of a review on that. And then like another day or two later, we'd have a little bit of a review and then we would move on kind of to the next step that built on that. And I really liked that approach. I thought it worked really well for her. Um, I will say, and this is really kind of no matter what curriculum you use, in some concepts, they do give you several different ways that you can work a problem. Here is an example. If you're doing very simple addition, sometimes um, it's easier for someone to physically have a manipulative in their hand and be able to use those to figure out the problems. Sometimes it's easier for um, you to draw tally marks on your page and then count those up. You know, it gives you a variety of ways that you can um, do the math problem, work out the math problem. And I appreciate that. I appreciate that it gives you that information up front. And then I, we did those. And then my daughter just kind of chose what worked for her. And I will tell you, as we got going a little bit higher up, some of the ways that she just, the way that her brain was processing the numbers and the way that she was mental mathing some of these, I'm like, honey, there is such a simpler way like we're rounding this number up to then round here and then we're subtract I don't know I don't know she was getting right answers and and she was you know she could tell me back what she did in her head and how she got to that number so it's not like it's wrong um I'm just like you had like three extra steps in there you didn't need um but I appreciate that the curriculum kind of facilitated that you know it kind of left it open to for her to kind of figure out how do you figure this out and what makes sense in your head. Um, I liked the math box as well. Uh, it made things real easy for me because this is just, this is what we would pull out for math and that's it. And, and some days we would need this and some days we didn't, just kind of depended on the lesson and, and what we were going over. Um, what else? I really appreciated the sections here, this little review, which this isn't a very big one, but it has this little review section um, that you can, it gives you concepts that you have already learned. And so if there's anywhere that, that you want to review again, or, you know, something that needs additional practice, it kind of prompts you here uh, to do before you get into the lesson for day, for that day which I really liked. Um, also, uh, this is one, we didn't even cut these out. There were some things that she just understood. You know, we just, uh, we didn't need to do all of the, the things cause it just kind of made sense to her already. Um, okay, so the, here is one. So you have your review section here. Then we do the lesson and then it gives her an independent review at the at the back so this she does on her own uh the other thing i really liked were the unit assessments and i think i said this originally um 
I did a, a unit one review or something, kind of an initial uh, review, and I liked the unit assessments then. I still like them. Uh, I It's a great way to just kind of check in and make sure that, that things are making sense. Also works great for me because in my state, I do have to document certain things. And so those assessments, it works out great because I have a beginning, a middle, and an end. So I can just kind of pull those out. And it makes it very easy for me to keep track of concepts and things that we've actually reviewed along with copies of her work, obviously, because she completed the assessments. Uh, and in the event that, you know, you need to grade those or, or keep track or something like that, you know, obviously you could do them as tests or as quizzes or whatever you needed to, but I do like that it's already incorporated. Um, I don't like this binding. I don't. I don't. Um, it is barely hanging on. Uh, there's been several times this has tried to come off. Um, and we've just kind of kind of kept it there and we do not we didn't like open and close this every day I would just flip it to our next lesson and then we would just set it up because I was afraid that it was just gonna gonna tear out um, and I we do have math too uh, we actually started math two today um, and I do see that they changed the binding at least for math two um, and so far uh, Again, we just started it today. I can tell that I'm probably gonna like that a little bit better. Anyway, it just seems to kind of hold hold together better. Um, what are some other thoughts? Another thing I did want to mention, I had I had somebody ask, and I don't know if it was here or or over on Instagram, but I had somebody ask what math we were using um, because uh, that person knew that we had gone from ready to read uh, with gather round into, um, you know, a, another math ready to read gather rounds, ready to read program includes math. So um, they were asking what math we transitioned into. Um, we did do like that. Literally, I think it was like maybe two weeks. I, I don't even think we got two weeks into um, picking that master books, um, back up before I was like, this is not, we're not doing this. <laughs> um, and then really we had like another week or two where I didn't know what I was going to do with math. Um, but I will say, I feel that my daughter transitioned very, very well into the good and the beautiful math. Um, it seemed as though the concepts were kind of presented in the, in similar ways, you know, and we're talking lower level math. So I feel like really kind of the transition would honestly be easy into any math curriculum. I don't want to say that for sure, but just because again, it's just kind of the, it's the lower level math. It's kindergarten into early first grade math. So, you know, you're not really getting into the depths of, of math. Um, but she did transition really well into this. Now she did go into math one from ready to read. I take that with a grain of salt. Um, it, you know, you may be, your child may be ready to go into math one or they may uh, do better going into the lower level. I, I'm going to assume that there is a math K. I don't really know um, because I haven't looked at it. Um, but I would guess there is a math that comes before this one. Um, so, you know, just obviously depending on your child's level um, and how how well they took the information in ready to read and are grasping those concepts. Obviously, you could just test them on the Good and the Beautiful website to see which, which um, level curriculum uh, would be better to place them in. But for my daughter specifically, she did pretty good through the math sections in ready to read, and she really was, was totally fine going into math one. Um, but I think really that's it. I, I am really very um, surprised by this curriculum. Uh, when we got to the end of the unit assessment, I thought for sure we were going to have to take a little bit of time, kind of break it up, you know, maybe into two days. And then it, it does give you a section um, 
for additional practice under any of those uh, topics, you know, maybe that, that your child had a little bit of trouble with and just need to kind of review it one more good time. Y'all, she breezed right through that thing. Like there was nothing to it. She was done in like 15 minutes. And I was just very surprised by that. But I think that's because it's done such a good job of, of um, going deep and wide in all of the math topics and really just kind of going, I feel like we just kept reviewing and, and reviewing, you know, it was like, almost like we just keep doing circles. Um, but not in a way that was exhaustive, you know what I mean? It would just kind of things would kind of just pop in here and there. I'm like, Oh, I forgot we did that, you know, 20 lessons ago, probably need to refresh on that. And so I would just ask her, you know, um, count by fives from, from zero to a hundred and, you know, just simple things like that where yes, they're using it, but just that, that all, you know, right off hand, say it real quick, kind of review. I really liked it and it proved to work for her this go round. So we will see how math two goes. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I, and I am very glad that I just went with kind of my gut feeling on this one. Um, and we went with it. So I think that's it for my review. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you soon.